everybody is so busy. Everybody's got a lot of things to do. We don't actually have a lot of things to do. People make time for everything and everyone else in their life, but they never make time for themselves. What you want in life? What's your purpose in life? So we believe that energy is always flowing out of us to people and things around us. And the, one of the ways to get to enlightenment is to first stop the loss of energy. Then you harness that energy from going out of you, you withdraw it into you, you concentrate and you channel that energy up your spine into your head to awaken higher states of consciousness. But in order to do that, you need to conserve as much energy as possible. The more people you have in your life, the more things you have in your life, the more you, energy you expand. Everybody is so busy. Everybody's got a lot of things to do. We don't actually have a lot of things to do. Right. We like being distracted because yeah. then we don't have to think about ourselves. We, yeah, and we, we don't have priorities in life. Most people don't have clear priorities in life. You know, I, for me, my goal is to simplify my life, simplify the number of people in my life and simplify the number of things in my life. We only have a finite amount of energy each day, right? But every year, we have more people in our lives. Is that a fair statement? More Facebook friends, you have more people you're connected with, but your energy stays the same. So that's not a proportionate growth. If your energy is increasing every year proportionately with the number of things and people in your life, then we don't have to talk about this. But your energy level is the same. But the amount of people and things in your life are growing almost exponentially. So whereas that doesn't work. So for me, it's always about simplifying first the people and things into your life, into who and what's most important. Taking that finite energy that you have each day and focusing, second step is learning how to focus and concentrate that finite amount of energy into the people and things that truly matter. Now you start to create a lifestyle that you actually love because you're invested into people and things that matter. And the byproduct of that is happiness. And you said happiness is not a goal. Is that it's, correct? Yes, happiness is not a goal. And if you ask most people, what do you want in life? They say, I want to be happy. Right? Would that be a fair statement? I mean, yeah, literally, it's in, the, if you it's in the US Constitution, I think, the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness. Right. I always say you should never pursue happiness. Don't pursue happiness. Pursue a lifestyle where the byproduct of that lifestyle is happiness. So happiness comes as a byproduct. I spend time with the people that I love. What is my byproduct? I'm happy. I spend time with people I don't like. I'm not happy. So don't pursue happiness. Pursue a lifestyle that gives happiness. But in order to then to pursue that lifestyle, you need to be clear what you want in life. What's your purpose in life? And people don't know this because they don't spend any time with themselves. People make time for everything and everyone else in their life, but they never make time for themselves. If you go up to someone who you know and say, like, would you like to catch up for coffee? Let's, let's do coffee. They're like, oh. I can't this week, but I can next week. How about Thursday, 7 p.m.? Perfect, I'll see you at this place. So people say to me things like, oh, I walk my dog in the park, that's my time with myself. And I'm like, no, it's not. That's you walking the dog. And they go like, oh, I, you know, I go for a jog, that's my alone time. No, that's you jogging, avoiding traffic, watching where you're stepping so you don't trip and fall over. Spending time with yourself is sitting down, closing your eyes, not interacting with the outside world and actually going inside and having that conversation. And people don't have that conversation and because they don't have that conversation with themselves, they don't end up knowing what they want in life. Because they don't know what they want in life, they can't focus that finite amount of energy. And then they don't live a lifestyle that brings them happiness. And most people end up being unhappy. <laughs>